Love me tender, love me sweet, never let me go. You have made my life complete, and I love you so. Love me Aren't y'all glad that somebody loves you tenderly and completely and knows you and, and loves you anyway and it's each other? You know, I've, a lot of folks say it's hard to, to ever love yourself and I guess I had some difficulty with that. And the thing that allowed me to really do that was finding out that there were other real people that seemed somewhat mentally stable that loved me. <laughs> many of you excluded from that and many of you included in that because of the clause of mentally stable. But what a blessing to know that there are people on the planet that just love you unconditionally. And um, I, was, I was talking to Robbie Joe last night and I said, it's so cool to be able to share your heart and your life in front of a group of people and know absolutely that there's nothing I could say that would make you stop loving me. There's nothing I could do that would make you stop loving me. I started to pull an Isaiah on you and walk down the steps buck naked and preach naked this morning just to, just to see. If what y'all were all about, Bruce Harbert encouraged me to do that. Bruce. If y'all know Bruce, so I, you know, Bruce. I don't know. Somewhere in your four-page hymn book is a song called "People Got to Love More." People got to love more. People got to give more. People got to share more. It's what we came here for. Oh, I got to slow this down. I forgot. Somebody asked me to. Okay, here we go. People good. Yeah. No, too slow. People got to love more. People got to give more. People got to share more. It's what we came here for. People got to help more. People got to care more. People got to reach more. It's what we came here for. Got to love a little more than we did yesterday. Oh, oh, oh. a little more than we did yesterday oh, 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 oh. people gotta love more people gotta give more people gotta share more it's what we came here for people gotta help more people gotta care more people gotta reach more it's what we came here for Gotta love a little more than we did yesterday. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. Gotta love a little more than we did yesterday. Whoa, oh, 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 oh. And you can do that too. Just turn up the, the love knob. The real thing we sang the other night, it was the Coca Cola theme song back in the 70s. It's a new age hippie song, so I know you're gonna love it. I'd like to build the world a home, furnish it with love, grow apple trees and honeybees, snow white turtle doves. I'd like to teach the world to sing perfect harmony. I'd like to hold it in my arms, keep it company. That's the song I hear people singing today. It's the only way. Love's the real thing. I'd like to see the world for once standing hand in hand and hear them echo through the hills for peace throughout the land. I'd like to teach the world to sing perfect harmony. 
I'd like to hold it in my arms, keep it company. That's the song I hear people singing today. It's the only way. Love's the real thing. Y'all remember the Coke commercial where they're all holding hands on the mountaintops all across it, and they were all singing it, and we all cried. It was beautiful. Let's try it a cappella one time. That's Just, on page three. That's on page three if you're in your, in your uh, New Age hymn book. <clears throat> we're going to do the chorus. I'd like to teach the world to sing a cappella. Are you ready? I'd like to teach the world to sing in perfect harmony. I'd like to hold it in my arms and keep it company. That's the song I hear people singing today. It's the only way. Love's the real thing. Oh, I like that. Yeah, you don't sound good this morning. My voice is about half here. Uh, thanks to the uh, gospel trio that sang all day long yesterday. But boy, that was fun. I've got, I had to go home and detox after all that Christian, all that Christian music. We had. I need to publicly repent and apologize to Mike about that. But he wasn't even here. I'm sure he felt it. He felt it in the spirit. I'm sure he felt. It. <laughs> this song says, "Take my hand and run into the wind." What page? I don't know. You're my secretary. Oh, it's on page one. Page one. Seven page two. one. My associate pastor has found the page. Page one. Wrote this on the deck of Harry's cabin the other day, Ooh. and um, and it's uh, what a beautiful place to be inspired out there. I've had so much inspiration there this week and had so much fun. Take my hand, let's run into the wind. Like a child, we'll be innocent again. Please no more struggling with sin. Love has come. Page four. Sorry. Page four. I, I, yeah, you were doing fly. You're fired. Yeah, I'm fired. You're fired. Yeah, yay. Donald Trump, you're fired. Page four. <laughs> Second song. Second song. Take my hand, let's run into the wind. Like a child, we'll be innocent again. Please no more. Struggling with sin, love has come and we are welcoming. Deeper than the ocean, wider than the sea, living in the sunlight, a perfect unity, embracing humanity, respecting everyone, giving and receiving and seeing we are one. Take my hand, let's run into the wind. Like a child, we'll be innocent again. Please, no more struggling with sin. Love has come, and we are welcoming. Deeper than the ocean, wider than the sea. Living in the spirit, perfect unity, embracing humanity, respecting everyone, giving and receiving, seeing we are one. Take my hand, let's run into the wind, like a child will be innocent again. Please no more struggling with sin. Love has come and we are welcoming. Just from my heart. I want to declare today I'm sure enjoying this way that we've learned to walk, learned to talk, learned to love each other unconditionally. I just want to say today, I count every one of you my family, and I will love you forever. That's a promise I make, and 
nothing could take that away from us. Covenant, we walk in covenant. When we realize we are the same, when we know we're called by the very same name, there's one family in this earth, there's one family, one plan, there's only one, we're all in one hand, we're the fingers of that hand. No separation, no division, no derision, if I can look at you and see myself, how could I hate you? If I can look at you and see me, how could I say you're not right? If I can look at you and see myself reflected there, then tell me how, I ask you now, tell me how I could care if you are a different color, a different origin or race. Or if you have a different look Or maybe even piercings in your face How could I look at you And not be in love with you When I see me Right there in your heart And eyes just shining through I'm glad we're one And just between you and me I really like being one with y'all Those there's some that kind of make me want to flee But then, but I like being one with y'all. This week has meant so much to me. I hope you feel the same. I hope spirit opens up your eyes and let you see what's being said in this place this week. It changes lives, it changes minds. It'll change the way you see. Like Gary said, don't be afraid if you don't understand it all. It's going in the place it needs to be And in the days to come It will unfold just like gold Hidden there in precious veins It will be uncovered by the spirit rain I can feel, I can feel, I can feel Inside of me something real Being born, I can see, I will know like a child it's stirring in my womb and I'm so thankful it was conceived right in this room deeper than your mind can know deeper than your brain can go something's being done a seed is being planted just believe in this room you did conceive. Have you ever noticed how when um, you get like a new car and then all of a sudden you see cars just like yours everywhere and you never noticed them before? Isn't that a funny thing? I'm driving my new Lincoln. It's, well, it's a 97, but it's like new. And um, I've not paid any attention to 97 Lincolns. I didn't know, were there any even out there on the road still? I didn't know until I got this one. And every time I pull into a parking lot, there's, there's a, a, a Mexican gangster or a pimp or a, there's somebody with my car with lights underneath it and it bounces up and down. It's like, you know, no, but seriously, every time I pull in a parking lot, I see a 97 Lincoln, that big square car. I think, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. But I never even noticed them until I had one. Y'all ever experienced that before? Oh, that's uh, this word, who can, repeat, who can say out loud the correct pronunciation of the word that we have learned this week that's changed our lives? Incorporeal. 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 No, it's incorporeal. Incorporeal. You got it. Pori. P O R Y is right in the middle of it. Corporeal. It's incorporeal. We got this word. I've heard 18 pronunciations of it. And you know what's really cool? Doesn't matter if you can pronounce it. <laughs> it's incorporeal. And it's a word that, that is planted inside of you, and there's going to be something grow there and be born from that, from that principle and from the things that we're learning this week. And I'm. Um, 
I remembered when, when Mike brought the word up the other night, incorporeal, he said, and I thought, I've got that somewhere in my notes, somewhere I've seen that. And I began to search, and I remembered it was a quote, a quote from one of my musician. Um, I've got some pages of famous musicians and things that they said. And I thought, one of them said this word in one of their quotes. So I went searching and found it, and I was so amazed at this. I want you to listen to this. And this is by Ludwig von Beethoven. Yes. He said, music is the one in corporeal entrance into the higher world of knowledge which comprehends mankind which mankind cannot comprehend isn't that crazy now 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 his deal was music and your your way into this may be meditation your way may into this may be you know drinking a bottle of scotch you i mean you have your own path I, amen i love music and i i love I, that's my thing i just love music I want to read it again. Music is the one incorporeal entrance into the higher world of knowledge which comprehends mankind, but which mankind cannot comprehend. Wow. See, people have been knowing about this stuff for a long, long time. And we have to, we have to understand it's important. Um, I don't know how to say it. I had a friend who recently was asking me about we were talking about worship and they've been a worship leader for many, many years. And we were talking about worship and this and that. And they had attended my church service and we had done several songs that weren't even Christian songs. And then we had modified a few. And um, he said, I don't understand why, you know, there's a lot of popular songs out there that are being done. Why don't you just grab hold of some of those? And I said, well, I wrote a song. Can I play it for you? And he said, yes. <clears throat> so I want to demonstrate this for you. I wrote this song. And I played it for him. I want to play it for you. Without you, Lord, I am nothing. I am weak. Oh, and you are strong. Carry me, Lord, for I am helpless. Bring me back to where I do belong. I can't see without you. I can't breathe without you. Reach down to this hopeless mess I'm in, oh Lord. Rescue me again. I look over and he's smiling and his little hands up in the air. I said, Come down here, Lord, shine down on us. I can't make it on my own. In this storm of pain and struggle, oh, Lord, I need to make it home. Separated by sin. Open up the door and let me in. My life is yours, and all I want to say is rescue me today. He's just smiling. He says, oh, my God, that's so beautiful. Do I have permission to use it? I said, no, you don't. <laughs> and he said, I'd like for my, my worship band to do it. Why? It's just beautiful, brother. It's anointed. It touched my heart. I said, it's bullshit. It's all, I said, I wrote it with bullshit in mind. I was focused. I actually pictured, I actually pictured actual bullshit while I was writing this song. And I did it, I did it for you to teach you something. And, and, I, and he's just looking at me, dumbfounded. I said, let me explain it to you. Without you, Lord, I'm nothing. Bullshit. I'm, I am something without the definition of a God that we've all come up with. I am he and he is me and I'm doing okay with or without a connection to something beyond me, I'm really okay. I am weak and you are strong. Wrong. That says, that speaks of separation. Mm -hmm. I'm not weak and him strong. If he's strong, I'm strong, damn it. We're the same. We're one. We're all together in this. Carry me, Lord. I'm helpless. No, I'm not. I'd like to pretend I am sometimes so I can reach out for some help beyond myself, but I'm not helpless. Bring me back where I belong. I am where I belong. Yeah. I'm not separated. I'm not away. I don't need a rescue. I'm not, I don't need to be saved. I'm where I do belong. I can't see without you. Yes, I can. I can't breathe without you. Watch. I can't. I can. 
reach down to this helpless mess I'm in and rescue me again. This is not a helpless mess. It's an awesome life. It's an amazing world that we wake up to every day. We have this creative power and energy on the inside of us, and we're able to touch and bless and heal and, and bring hope to the hopeless and help to the helpless and feed the hungry. And Oh, my gosh, this is not a helpless, hopeless life. Come down here, Lord. He isn't up anywhere. <laughs> Shine down on us. Please give me a break. I can't make it on my own. Wrong. In this storm of pain and struggle, if that's where you are today, please be delivered. Because there, there's something better than the storm of pain and struggle that you're in. There's a beautiful, you know what I'm saying. He said, I need to make it home. We are home. Separated by sin. Biggest lie ever told. Never were separated by any sin anywhere. Nobody ever had to save you from your sin. Never happened. Open up the door and let me in. We're not out. We're already in. My life is yours. All I want to say is rescue me today. Don't need damn rescue. Y'all, we, we listen to it and we... When I sang it, don't raise your hand. I don't want you to look stupid. But when I sang that just now, some of you were thinking, oh, that's so pretty. That's just, I just love this worship song. And I, I know, I know, because I might have done the same thing last week. That song wasn't pretty. It was ugly. It was bullshit. And you need to begin, you need to begin to understand, you know, what it is that they're saying to you. I've got a, a lady in my church, and she said, she said, we take our children to another church. She said, we like your church, but we go to another church because they have good children's programs. I said, do you understand that you are poisoning your children? She said, well, no, no, no. That is, they teach about Jesus. I said, uh-huh. <laughs> I, I, I know they do. And they use the Bible, don't they? They use the Bible to teach about Jesus. I said, but you have to understand the, their perspective on it and the poison that is in religion. A little leaven leavens the whole lump. And I'm not, I mean, I get it. Everybody's on their place, on their path and their journey, and we love them all, and they all love us. But let's grow up to the place to where we stop just swallowing everything that comes down the pot and praising Jesus for everything that's not Jesus. I wrote a great post on Facebook last night, I think it was, that I want to introduce you to my friend Jesus. Is my mic not working? No. Oh. I'm just saying Instead of praising Jesus, praise yourself. Uh, that's it. I mean, we're one with him. Praise each other. Praise you, Gary. I mean, you praise each other. Instead of the ceiling tiles... Or the logs, in this case, maybe. <laughs> Reach out instead of up. You might do a little more good out there somewhere. Um, th but thank God we're coming to a place to where we understand and realize a few things. Isn't it a blessing? I mean, if we, if we, if we want to really get real, I might could, couldn't I? We could get really real and say, I am hopeless, helpless, worthless, mighty monster, hear me sing. Get up off your ass, dear Savior. I am dog shit, you are king. I mean, that's what they're saying in that song. You, you're the mighty awesome monster. We're nothing. We're just, you know, just piss on us. We're, you know, pitiful, abandoned here in this twilight zone. My life is a nightmare, Lord, please throw this dog a bone. I bow down so you can beat me. I love abuse, oh Lord, that's how you treat me. I'm afraid of your hell so you control me. I am broke, Jesus, but you still roll me. I sing my songs of worship, Lord, around your jeweled chair, without one shed of evidence that you are really there. I mean, if we just get honest, take some honesty serum and begin to sing what it is that we've really been taught. And this, I hope I'm not offending anybody. I hope I'm offending everybody. <laughs> we, we, <laughs> we, all need a, we all need a little bit of offending every now and then. Look, 